we're counting down the minutes because Thanksgiving Day is almost here. So, Steve, I want to make sure that you have your menu together. You got the turkey? Yep. Okay, mashed potatoes. Got it. Okay, make a head pretzel appetizer. Don't know what those are. Shoot. Well, our next guest says they are actually a great addition to your Thanksgiving appetizer smorgasbord, if you will. So here to show us how it's done, we welcome Cooking for Dad's host, Rob Barrett. Hi, Rob. Rob nice to, to see, see you. you. Well, look, I've been to a lot of Thanksgivings, Rob, <laughs> and pretzels have not been worked in, but I want you to know that I'm very open to the idea. Right. I'm doing them instead of grape salad this year, because we <laughs> always do grape <laughs> salad. Oh, God, God, God. <laughs> Grape Gate 2014. That's huge. Okay. Crazy. So you think this, I like this idea though, and a lot of yep. people do like the classic crescent rolls, they do that all the time, or they do some sort of biscuit or something, but this yeah. is just a nice little twist. This is a great thing if you're going to go visit someone, you want to bring a hostess gift, bring hot pretzels, everyone loves you. Oh, right, yeah. right. Yeah. It's really easy, it doesn't, the whole thing doesn't take five minutes, but we're going to show you how you can have hot pretzels at the end within five minutes. Okay, really that sounds easy. great. First, let's make the dough, it costs at least 30 cents to make, okay. so I want you to put in three, uh, cups of flour You got your dough there. look on your old mixer there, buddy. You're going to put one spoonful of the yeast into hot water. Okay. And then we're, let, we'll let that, you know, yeah, wake up. Yeah, foam up a little bit. And put one spoonful of salt into the milk. We're actually going to warm up the milk. This is one of the key steps. We're going to do uh, warm it up in the microwave for 30 seconds so it's not cold. Okay. It makes a little bit of a difference. And then two spoonfuls of sugar. Nice. Help the medicine go. Yeah. This is fascinating that you're baking and you're still using your spoonful of whatever method. Yeah, you yeah. know, it just, it actually works. Okay, you stir that so All it right. dissolves. Okay. And then we're going to dump everything in the stand mixer. Okay. we're going to turn it on and let it knead it with a dough hook for seven minutes. Oh, wow. wow. Easy and that, peasy. Actually, add about one spoonful of olive oil, too. You like to have a little uh, fat or a little oil, oil in there. Let's just go Perfect. like so. Okay, That's close good. that down, turn that on. If you don't have a stand mixer, Low. get one. They're actually, they're super cheap at Costco right now. Like, they're 100 bucks off. Wait, you are a really? Costco so, maniac. How I, um, many days a week are you spending there, buddy? Six. <laughs> that's a little out of control, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> okay, you can turn that off. So that would, that's going to make the dough. Okay. If you don't, not, you can dump it out and knead it yourself. You need it, knead it for seven minutes. Okay. Either the machine or out here. And then you let it rise for an hour. It comes out like this. Wow. So now we're going to make pretzels. Just take a little ball like this. Now, so this, is, this is where it gets tricky, right? No, this is really easy. Okay. Oh, are you sure? Yep. So roll into a ball. <laughs> Do you do whatever I whatever do? Whatever you I do, I'll it? do. You're the, you're the food girl. I'm just like, all right, you're you smelling the dough. dough. I smelled it and then heated it too. <laughs> Only because he saw me do yeah. it. You guys. Okay. okay, and now we're going to start rolling it out on the countertop and then take your hands and make them wider, go yeah. wider out. Don't elbow me, and guys. And don't go too, you don't have to go do it all at once. Be kind of gradual. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I thought we, like you know, this. had a limited amount of time on the show. So well, I wanted I guess to make sure we should be. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go Just back. go. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to, once you get them a little bit wider than this, we're going to fold them over like this. Okay. Twist them once and fold them down. Come again? What? <laughs> How's it going okay. here? Lay, lay it down. Lay, lay it down across. Oh, hang on. i got to stretch Straight. it. Straight. I'll, I'll undo mine. This, I guess, is one of the key steps, right? Yeah. yeah. So That's right how mine here, looks. Out here. All right, go with me now. <laughs> Put this one over like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cross it. Cross that. Tw twist them. System. Don't you have like a fun little down. rabbit rhyme or something for this? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, make all your pretzels like this, yes. and then we're gonna put them in. You guys are a little squatty, but that's okay. Yeah, ours look more like <sighs> rolls. <laughs> it takes a little bit, a little bit longer yeah. to roll them out. We're then gonna boil them. Okay. And for 30 seconds, in eight cups of water and a quarter cup of, of uh, baking soda. Okay. That's it. And so they boil, and then they come out like this. This is what they look like. Yeah, it looks delicious. We're going to bake them. We're going to brush them with a little egg wash, put on some salt, bake them at 450 for about 10 minutes until they're brown. And that okay. is what they end up And that's what they like. look like. But what is really good to do is at this point, but before you do anything else, yeah. wrap them individually and freeze them. This is key. Right. You have to have a little self control, as you say. Yes. But make a double batch and freeze one and cook the other. <laughs> yeah. And then all you do is in the morning. What are you toss them. What else do you have what under there? Under there. Oh my gosh. I know. You John Hansen is under here. <laughs> <laughs> you put him in the toaster, push it down. I saw. In about three minutes, you have pretzels just like that. No way. It's really cool. That's yeah. impressive. Okay, so I heard that you wrote a pretzel song. Well, I was working on it. Yes, you do. But can I got stuck. Yeah. Okay. You can, you can try them. I got stuck. I just couldn't quite finish it, and I was just like, if there only was another songwriter on the show that could help me finish my song, I would just be, it would just be, be great. You might be you in luck. So I don't know if you're Oh, oh songwriter! Oh, Okay, well, the chorus is I got. The chorus I have down, but I need help on the verse. Mm. Let's see if you can right. help fill it in. Let's, let's give it I try. like making pretzels. 
They're much better than the vegetables. They're good and edible. I like making pretzels. So, so good so far. This yeah, is what I need to help. Great. So this is the, kind of the recipe part. Yeah. Just start with some dough and roll it in a stick. Don't make them too thin. Don't make them too thick. Thick. Oh, thick. Yeah. Write that down. Thick is that. good. Right. Okay. Good job. Boil them and bake. Boil them. And bend them and okay. boil them and bake them till brown. These are the very best pretzels. We have here. We have here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's good. good. I like making pretzels. Okay, then I like it, yeah. They're much better than the vegetables. They're good and edible. I like making pretzels. Not bad. We'll split it 50-50. All right, perfect. <laughs> that's the importance of having a songwriter. Eric Hutchinson, nice to see you, Thank buddy. You, you want a pretzel? Well, I'll take a oh, pretzel, yeah. Of course, yeah. I'll pretzel. take a pretzel. Good. You're going to be performing for us a little bit Thank later you. in the show. Welcome back. Thank you. Great to be here. It's Great nice to, to have a pretzel. Are you going to do that in your shows? You know, just, yeah. I'm just <laughs> You've been free. Getting clearance definitely now. thinking about Exclusive it. Exclusive yeah. license with <laughs> you right there. <laughs> All right, we have this recipe and a link to Rob's website on TwinCitiesLive.com. Click on food. Simple enough. There are yes. all right coming up. It's been a while since singer-songwriter Eric.